this, this is about ensuring that all students have access to a high quality education, to realize their right to uh, education that, that, that uh, gives them opportunities for success. So in my last district, that meant a whole bunch of things. Um, and it, may, it, it meant things specifically for the Latino community. Um, here, I'm thinking about it from the perspective of, I just want our Latino students, just like I want our Asian students and our African American students and our white students, to be able to go to school, and have access to a great teacher, great resources, I want them to be safe, and I want them to be able to experience art and music, have access to technology, um, have um, support structures in place so that they can be successful. Um, and, and that's regardless of who they are um, and, what the, and, and what the demographic background is. Right, but some people may say that these students have different needs and challenges according to their, the group they belong to. Do you think that they would require a specific strategy? I mean, the, the, the strategy is good teaching. The strategy is good teaching. And so there are a lot of things that, um, um, and the, the strategy is caring adults. And the strategy is access and opportunity. And I think that, yes, um, do we have to um, adjust for a certain population? Yes, we do. Um, but by the same token, I think all of those things are ameliorated with uh, and by good teaching. I think access and opportunity to high quality instruction becomes extremely important. Um, and, that's, and, and language acquisition becomes important, but as, you, as I indicated earlier, we're not cutting ESOL. Um, but that's, and, and we think that's extremely, I mean, that's a valuable um, thing. Now, back to this point of the investments, I do think that we have to provide students with opportunities to have more relevant educational experiences. And for some students, that's going to be at a work site. Um, for other students, it may be at a training facility. At other students, it actually may be um, uh, classrooms that are set up to simulate uh, a type of work environment. And I, and so, and I think that that uh, provides our Latino uh, community with um, many of the same opportunities. And I think and the thing I don't want to leave out is also expectations. And so we shouldn't expect less, any less, from our students who are English language learners than we expect from students who are, uh, who speak English.